Well, good morning, folks. It's Richard here. You know, in the last week, week and a half, we've had some real pretty weather here in the Tennessee Valley. Temperatures all oh, soaring up to about around 65 degrees for the high. Spring-like conditions, but now it's winter again. This morning it's 38 degrees, and the surface temperature is 46 degrees. Overcast day. Uh, could be some periods of light rain today. Uh, I'm here on the Tennessee River. The water is a little bit high, but today I'm going to be fishing with a bait that uh, really is underutilized in my opinion. It's an underspin. Now, underspins or spinner jigs, I like to call them underspins because that's really what they are is a very effective way to catch fish of all species. Crappie, white bass, largemouth, smallmouth, spots, you name it, drum. Um, just about anything can hit this bait. And it's very effective during overcast conditions like we have today and high water. Although these baits can be fished year round. Um, real good search baits for in the springtime for pre-spawn crappie. But um, stay with me. Let's see if we can catch a few fish here. Now these baits right here are real easy to fish. It's a type of a bait, like I said, you can cover a lot of water with them. And in dingy water conditions like we have today, that little spinner, well, it's just a plus. Um, of course, the main thing, and no matter what you're fishing, of any kind of jig is to find how deep the fish are. But uh, you can work them in a lot of different ways. You can hold your rod tip up, pick the bait up, let it fall. Pick the bait up and let it fall. Most of your strikes is going to occur on the fall. Or, let's make a cast out here. You can cast it out and just reel it back like you would a spinner bait. Stop it pull it, let it fall. That's another good way to, to fish the bait, in my opinion. Another, another way is just to throw it out. And let's say if, if the fish are at three foot deep, let it sink about three foot deep and just bring it back. Just a slow, methodical wind. But before we can start catching fish, I'm going to have to figure out how deep the fish are. In other words, I'm going to have to figure out how deep the shad are and fish above them slightly. Uh, this will usually work for all species. There we go. Got us a crappie right here, folks. Pretty good crappie, too. Look at there, look at there, look at there. That's net him. That's a pretty good fish right here. Come here. My goodness, what a broad crappie. Now that's what underspins to do for you right there. Catch you some big old pretty slabbers. Okay. I'm gonna put him in the bucket. I'm gonna release this fish here in a little bit when I get done fishing right here. A lot of times when you're fishing conditions like this where fish are difficult, okay, to catch, if you're not gonna keep them, uh, you're better off if you intend on fishing a spot not to release these, okay? Because if you if I put this fish back, he's going to go straight back in there. And as scattered, scattered as these fish are today, and I'm telling you, they're real scattered account of the weather conditions, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and put this fish in the bucket. Right here, I'm not going to keep him. When I get done fishing right here, then I'll release them back. 
you know the water is real cold. So it won't hurt him. Let's put him in the bucket. That's a pretty fish though. Unless I change my mind. <laughs> if I change my mind, I'm gonna eat him. But now I'm fishing with two different underspins. Now this one is called a finesse. Okay, which I've modified this bait. I cut, uh, I've got a video about that. I cut half of the lead off, wrapped dental floss around the shank of the hook, and then uh, glued a grub right here. It lightens the bait up. Uh, when you're wanting to fish shallow, that's not against the rules. You need to modify your baits and tweak them around to suit you to give you the confidence level you need to catch fish. But it's a pink grub. Nothing special, just pink with a silver fleck in it. My, 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 my. That fish hit it on the fall. On the fall. I know what we got. Probably a white bass. No, it's crappie. What about that? That fish, no wonder. Look how good big he is right here. I'm done. Oh, me, I'm excited. That fish fought like a big white bass. Look here. Now that's a big old crappie fish right there. He's big because he's girthy. Across here. Daggone it. Okay, that's call out. I'm gonna take him to bluegill and take him out. Ah, we'll leave him in there. That's good eating. But look at there. That fish hit it on the fall, folks which don't surprise me. Uh, I'm gonna make another cast in there, wouldn't y'all? Watch that line. If it was being a line watcher, I'd have missed that fish. But I mean, he hit it. I'm thinking there's another bite or two in there. That was an aggressive bite. So they must have been two or three, four crappie hanging together. In my mind, that's what I see. And there's some competition going on for that crappie to hit that that hard. Look here, that's what it was. A little competition finally going on. These fish has been scattered, but we got a group of fish right here. What about that? You learned. I never quit learning out here. Let me flip him in there. That's a good chunky fish, too. Let me back off of this spot. I'm black crappie. Man, I tell you what. Let's get him in the bucket. Get on in there. Get some of that, man. You know what I'm talking about? Get you some of that. There we go. That's another crappie. My goodness. You talking about hitting the bait and hitting it hard. They hit this up. Uh... Look here. Now they'll hit this bait with a lot more. I can't even talk because of the spinner. 
they hit this bait a lot more aggressive than they would say a jig. Now they slam it. That's a big crappie right here. Look at there, what fish. It's, it's a good one. It ain't Hercules, but now every fish I catch, folks, y'all know I can't help it, is a big one. <laughs> Let's put him in the bucket. That's a good one. Look at there. They. That's enough fish after I clean them. That's enough fish to last me. Oh, three weeks, four. There we go. Man, you talking about doing some fighting. No doubt. Mm -mm -mm. All right, folks, I want y'all to take a look at this one. Y'all see that? Now that is a shell cracker. Long ear sunfish. That is a big one. I mean, look, look what I'm talking about. Let's put him in a bucket. Okay, folks, we're done for today. High water in the winter time can be a little aggravating fish. Um, in my opinion, what happens is that the fish, the, the crappie, will scatter, no doubt. And by fishing under spins like this one. Um, I get the job done. You can cover a lot of water and the strikes that you do get are going to be very aggressive. It's going to be a different strike than you'll get on a jig. They just hit them a lot harder. Um, the main thing is, is to cover a lot of water and just fish. It's a lot of work, but it will pay off at the end of the day. I guarantee you. Just try it. Let me know how you do. But, um, in closing, before we close, I want to show you, and I'm proud of the shell cracker more than the crappie. I want you to look what a shell cracker. Now that's a big one. And you talking about some good eating, so that's what we're going to do. I mean, that shell cracker, you look at it, it's as big as that crappie. Ain't that something? And we got a bucket full of good crappie right here. Mama Sue's going to be proud of me once again. There's another good one. Not no jumbos, but good fish. Good solid fish. But I want to thank y'all very much for allowing this channel to grow. Y'all are the ones that's doing it. Okay. Um, just thank you very much. Thank you for the great comments. Hey. 2019 is going to be a killer year because we're going to fish hard. And remember, go fish on the ATM, but all fish.